<clears throat> all right hello everybody welcome back to my channel my name is gabriel coming at you straight from queens new york and today we are going to be talking about gina carano the co-star in the mandalorian and everybody's pretty much going on about how she's been fired right she she got canceled right um <clears throat> i mean everybody already knows how i feel about cancel culture if you don't you can look at my previous videos or even listen to the music video by uh the uh, the, <laughs> the leader of the hog hangover gang um anyways <laughs> Let's see. So, Gina Carano, the Hollywood Reporter says Gina Carano will not be returning to the Mandalorian or the Star Wars Galaxy after sharing a post on social media implying that being a Republican today is like being Jewish during the Holocaust. Um, she was also dropped by her uh, agency. On Wednesday, the hashtag... Fire Gina Carano was trending following an Instagram post from the outspoken conservative actor and former mixed martial artist that was met with severe backlash. The post has been deleted, but screenshots were widely shared by users on social media who called for her firing from the hit Disney Plus Star Wars show. Uh, this is not the first time Carano, who played um, a former Rebel Alliance soldier, Cara Dune on the Mandalorian has been full has been the focus of social media ire for her political comments. Last November, she issues she issued continuous tweets on one in which she mocked mask wearing amid the novel coronavirus pandemic and other in which she falsely suggested voter fraud occurred during the 2020 presidential election. Um, and this is the part that is. The, anybody that is still claiming that um, Republicans or conservative or pretty much anybody that is right of Bernie Sanders is are, are not being targeted are, are, are not being literally censored are, are, are you're, you're, you're dumb you're dumb if you can see this and say that she's not right that that conservative and people on the right people any anybody that's right of bernie sanders is deemed as a, a, a deplorable and are trying and the elites are trying to eject them from polite society as aoc put it all right because how <laughs> what you see here is just pure hypocrisy right you have you have uh, an outspoken um, conservative woman, right? Uh, a self-made woman. She's she's an she's an, she she's actually an example of a strong, independent woman, and an actual example of somebody who has made it in multiple male-dominated industries and succeeded. All right, I think her fight record was like. Seven seven wins and one loss, something like that around there. I didn't really follow her MMA career. But as she's been on several, she's been on Fast and the Furious, The Mandalorian. Obviously, she's been on uh, multiple multiple big big projects in her acting career, right? So some uh, here's a woman, right? Where the feminist at? Where the feminist at? You have a woman who has been dominating male industries, you know, predominantly male industries. Setting an example, breaking barriers, but then, but because she doesn't agree with your opinion, lefty, because leftists do not like her opinion, she needs to get fired. Because she is an outspoken conservative personality. <laughs> there is no reason. There is absolutely no reason why she why she didn't say or do anything that was remotely as nearly as offensive as anything that the left has done over the past five years. All right, this is the exact same people who have been rioting in 2020, but then when the riot happened at the Capitol earlier this year, 
They were all like, oh my god, such acts of evil. Oh, these these people need to be punished. When the exact same thing, and in fact to a worse degree, was happening all throughout the country through in 2020. But because those people were on your side, were on the left, it was okay when they were doing it. But as soon as people on the right do the exact same shit, all of a sudden, it's the worst thing that could have happened. You're morons. You're hypocrites. And you hear, yeah, and then all of you who are, who, are, who are like somewhat in the center, maybe you're center left, and you're excusing that shit. What the fuck is wrong with you? Stop being a hypocrite. Stop doing that shit. It's blatant. It's blatant rules for thee, but not for me. It is what? This is how you operate. This is how you operate. You're able to do, you're able to throw every single name, every single comparison in the book. You call everybody on the right a Nazi, a racist, a homophobe, a transphobe, an Islamophobe, all of that. All of it. You do that every single time anybody disagrees with any single one of your points of view. But as soon, as soon as somebody on the right makes a similar comparison, because that's all she did. She made a comparison. This is what she said. She made a comparison that people, the government, the government doesn't just get the power to round up people and send them to concentration camps out of the blue. The way that the government gets that power is by first making the people turn on each other hate each other right that needs to happen first that's all she said she didn't even say republican or democrat in her post that was you lefty projecting you lefty having a guilty ass conscience because you know for a fact that that's what you've been doing you've been demonizing and ostracizing people on the right for no good reason Absent of any proof, absent of any facts, absent of any of any evidence, of any evidence. People, people say, you know, you don't believe that that's true, bitch. You don't believe that that's true. So then, what is with every single comparison? People saying that the MAGA hat is the new KKK hoodie. What is that? What is that? That is, that is you comparing Trump voters to the KKK. What did, what did AOC say about the, 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 the kids in cages in the, uh, at the border? Huh? They were in concentration camps. What is that? What is that? That's another comparison. Saying that, saying that the people at the border were Nazis keeping, p- keeping kids in cages like the Jews were kept in cages. Right? But that was okay because it was the left making the comparison. And that was that and that's those are direct comparisons. Those are direct comparisons. She didn't even make a direct comparison. All she was doing, all she said was that the government doesn't just get the power to to kill people out of the blue. First the culture needs to be one where people hate each other for no reason. Right? Because why? Because like I've said it before, and people have said it over and over again, and people still for some reason don't get the freaking message is that politics is downstream of culture. For some for a political entity to have the power that it does, it must first come from the culture. That is how what happened in Nazi Germany, which everybody agrees was bad, which everybody agrees was a tragedy. It happened because the people, the German people were convinced that Jews were like these evil rats trying to steal everything and take everything and they needed to just be you know, you needed to just grab your pitchfork and 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 torch and and, and run them out of town. Huh? You need to, you needed to go hunting for the Jews because they were a, they they were the other, they were the other. And and then it's like 
she didn't even she didn't even directly say Republican or Democrat in her post. But then what happened was that every single lefty fired up, just fired up the fire Gina Carano hashtag. Why? It's because you have a guilty conscience because you know that that is what you've been doing for the past five years. You know that that's what you've been doing. You have a, the guiltiest freaking conscience that somebody could just make an, a, a statement of fact. It was a statement of fact that the culture needs to needs to this needs to be one where citizens are hate each other for then the government to get the power to target one of those groups, right? It's a statement of fact. This is how this that is how dictatorships, authoritarianships arise. It comes from the people first. All she said, she just made that statement of fact that historical is it's a, it's a historical observance that is true. It's been it's happened multiple times throughout history, throughout human history. And then you, even though she didn't say Democrat Republican, because she is a Republican, because she isn't conservative, I don't know if she's a Republican or not, but she's a she's on the right for sure, right? Because she's not on your side, you wanna then just assume that she was accusing you of being the Nazi. You get accused of being the Nazi, and all of a sudden, all of a sudden that's that's gone, that's going too far. You 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 cannot make Modern day comparisons to the, to the tragedies back of the 1930s and 40s? How dare you? You need to have more respect for, 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 that, for that incident in history. Oh, really? You need to have more respect for that incident in history, do you? So then how about you, hypocrite? Stop calling people Nazis and racists. You're a moron. You're an absolute dimwit. And all the people that are left to center... You guys, it's your fault. It's your fault for not speaking out against the crazies that are leading your party. They're leading the Democratic Party. They are leading the left. And you morons are just sitting here quiet. Just because they're on your side, you are too afraid to call them out. Call them out. Call them out. Damn. Stop being afraid. Stop being afraid. If you are, if you call yourself a center leftist, then stop being afraid and call out the fucking crazies that are doing shit like this. Getting a girl fired for making a statement of fact, of historical accurate, an historically accurate statement of truth. But no, no. The people doing it are on your side, so it's okay. It's okay. Yeah, you're gonna say you're gonna keep you're gonna keep your mouth shut and you're gonna be and you're gonna keep saying it's okay all the way up until the government gets the power to round up people who voted for Trump just because they voted for Trump, right? That's okay. Let's see how how long you'll be okay with it because eventually they're gonna come for you too. It doesn't just stop with people on the right. Think about it. Think about it and pay more attention. That's it for me. Can't even find the damn stop button.